Hi my friends, we are discussing goal setting. See, goal setting is not an activity to be done on a day. In my nearly 30 years of um, training in managing time or managing activities within a period of time, I keep telling this to every participant that managing any resource calls for enormous amount of planning, thinking and execution. If you are not prepared to do this, even if you chisel your goal on a golden plate and make it studded with diamond, you are not going to reach your goal. It's not your intention. It is not your desire which will get your goal in place. You need to have a very clear strategy combined with persistence, perseverance, consistency, retrospection, introspection, the ability to make course correction. If you do not do this, you will not be able to reach your goal. Let us be very, very clear. Attending a program on managing time is not like, uh, you know, uh, what shall I say, going to a restaurant and having a meal. You go to a restaurant, have a meal, you will be able to satisfy your hunger. That means you are hungry, you want to uh, satisfy your hunger, you go, it is done by a single activity. But a single activity of writing your goal on a piece of paper is not going to reach your goal. In fact, even a very well laid out, well thought out goal is nothing but a piece of paper unless you persevere it. That is what we are going to discuss in this episode. I gave this uh, link, the link between your mission, your role, your goal, your task, your activity. I also said that your goal should pass through this test, smart test, specific, measurable, actionable, realistic and time bound. That means each task is time bound. Let's say that you want to go to Bangalore from Chennai. There are intermediary stages. There is a start time in Chennai. There is an arrival time in Bangalore. Between these two, there are various stages. That's called time bound. Let's say that you have got to pay, make a presentation, paper presentation in Bangalore at let us say 2 in the afternoon. You have to plan. If I have to present a paper at 2 at this place, how am I going to reach that place? I am not going into the preparation for it. That is a different thing altogether. This start point, end point is very, very important. That's why I'm telling you, at every stage, you should check up, am I as per the schedule? Let's say that you are driving down. Let's say that's going to take about 4 hours, 5 hours, 6 hours, depending on the mode of transport you are using. So, time bound. With that in mind, you break up your uh, goal into this. Ask yourself, if this is my 8-year goal, what task should I accomplish in the next five years? So, this is the start point. This is the end point, eight years. If this is the start point and this is the end point, this is the five years. In this five years, what is the task? I have given some example. How are you going to equip yourself in terms of education? This is the cognitive domain. domain degrees, diplomas, certificates. If you want to become a vice president operation and if you are 
a purchase officer now what type of career things you should do what departments you should uh, uh, work what regions you should work what products you should handle let's say that you are a purchase officer now in 10 years time or 8 years time you want to become the head of the plant in a small plant it's possible to reach this level in 10 years time in a larger organization maybe it will take some more time so if you are going to be heading a plant if you are just doing a purchase function what about manufacturing what about r and d what about marketing what about maintenance right so what did what are the department regions supposing you are talking about a career in marketing which are the regions you want to go and work and what skill technical non technical you have to visualize if you are a recruiter for a position of a vice president in operation what skill that you will require what is the industry you are in what skill will become very relevant for example these days artificial intelligence skill very very important if you are a writer if you want to become an editor of a magazine or editor of a newspaper if you are a news reporter if you want to be working for a news agency right what is the progression and what skills that you require what resources are required in terms of money material missions last week i met an young executive he was just entering an organization he gives gives me an account of what type of an office he has got in his house in terms of what type of a computer he needs what type of a, a broadband connection he needs what type of a library he should have what type of a magazine he should purchase what type of a podcast he should listen what what type of a, a youtube channel you should be subscribing to and what are the clarifications you need for example if you want to do mba which university which branch you want to specialize there are a lot of online classes available coursera for example right so all the clarifications it be a good idea to go and discuss with your boss with the hr department so that is your five year plan if that is your five year plan what's your six months plan again if this is the start point if the, this is the end point this is five years next six months what is that you should do for example if the next five years if you want to be um, a management uh, graduate mba next six months you should have registered got admission started your journey similarly next six months what degrees diploma certificates maybe you should go for a, a small uh, certificate program on artificial intelligence who knows and next six months in which department and region and products you want to specialize and what skills are required in the next six months time what resources are required in six months time and clarification note so the journey of 10 years has to be chunked into 5 years 6 months so this is what i call as long term goal medium term goal short term goal once having done this the next important question is how are you going to organize yourself on a weekly basis which we'll see in the next episode if you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe press the bell button and share this information to your friends and relatives we'll meet in the next episode